All right, I'm going to show you how I do my um, graphics for social media using PageMoto. And it's one of the tools that I use. So um, PageMoto is connected to a Facebook page, so make sure that you are logged in to a personal Facebook page um, or else it's going to make you switch. And if you start working on something, I've noticed that when I switch it will lock up and I lose everything I've been working on. So I just um, make sure that I'm on my personal fa page when I sign in. It automatically um, connects me to my PageMoto account. So I haven't figured out how to create an account without being attached to Facebook. So you do have to have um, a Facebook account. So I go to um, Post Designer over here on the left and it will take you to their templates and for beginners I suggest that you just use one of their templates and um, edit those but I create my own now and use um, my own templates um, using one of these blank um, slates one of these first two so since I already have my templates made I just go to um, the tab that says your designs and I've already done our baseball ones so I'm just going to show you how how quick it is to, to do these announcements once you have your templates. And of course I make um, the elements that I use in, in different programs. I use um, Sumo Paint, which is um, an online um, editor, which I create a lot of things using Sumo Paint. I use um, FlamingText.com and coollogos.com and of course Adobe um, Illustrator and Photoshop um, to do a lot of editing um, as well. So I'm going to do our golf one which I already have our template made and um, so I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to edit this. So this is our golf template and I've got the image in the back um, that is for buckcorn. I recolored with blue and gold. So um, I just have different text boxes lined up on all of these and so I'm just going to click on the one that I want to change. So we're, we're going to be doing a different tournament and so when I click on that I'm not actually typing on the canvas. I have to come over here on the right um, and, and change the text. So here's where my text would be entered and they're going to be playing in the Hogan um, Vaughn Invitational. I can't spell. And um, this is, um, I click on the next box and it's going to be Monday, um, April the 6th. And I click on the next box because it's going to be at um, Valley Hill Country Club. And then you can see that as you type over here on the right, it shows up. Um, and then sometimes you just need to resize. Um, I don't like for it to go um, past the lines that I have created. So I'm going to resize this and make it a little bit smaller. And that way it will um, fit on that line that I have for it. If I want to change the color, I can um, change the color to, you know, I normally do, you know, our own custom um, Pantone colors here, but um, you can change it to whatever you want or use um, some of the most popular ones. And then the date, I'm going to make it a little bit larger to fill up its line. And then I'm going to click on the Hogan Invitational and make it a little bit smaller. All right, so that is the golf one. And I'm just going to take a screenshot. So however you take a screenshot on your computer, um, I'm just going to grab whatever I want to publish. And I've, I've got an overlay on top of it. Um, so I'm only grabbing the overlay. And that screenshot goes directly to my desktop and I'm in the middle of working on everything so um, there it is and now I'm just going to rename it and the way that I rename it is um, with the date and it's Varsity Girls Varsity Boys Golf 
and I'll remember that it's that invitational. So that was the golf one, and then I can just save my draft. I don't ever publish, I just do screenshots so that I have those images and I can use where, wherever I want to, whichever platform I'm using. Um, we have um, a prom meeting coming up. So I'll do our prom meeting. Um, so that's how I do my sports and um, lots of, I do other, you know, templates. I have different templates for each one. So all of this, it, this is an actual um, image that I created. Um, and so I just pulled this in. And when you click on an image, you get your um, most recent images that you've pulled up. We were playing Huntsville in Madison County. And so that's, you know, why these are showing up. So some of the things that I have created and um, pulled in. So um, this is just... Um, text and page moto that I created. I kind of want it to be a little bit bigger for this one because we have fewer words. So I've just increased the size on that. Um, prom 2015, we're going to have a meeting. So if you don't want something, then you just delete it. Our prom sponsor is trying to encourage everyone to follow them on Twitter. So um, all I'm doing is just rearranging. Notice that when I pull this up and down, it tells me when I'm on the center of my slide. So that helps me keep um, everything centered. So I'm going to increase the meeting size. Mm, and I really, um, I really want to use the yellow for my meeting. And so that was a custom color that I had already created. So I just clicked on it and I changed the color. And it is going to be on um, Tuesday. April the 7th. And the cafeteria at 8.45. So I don't have any more text box boxes to edit so I'm just going to click on one and then down here in your layers I'm just going to copy that layer um, or copy that text box and I'm just going to drag it down and edit what's in there now so I don't have to go in and change a whole bunch of stuff so it's in the cafeteria at um, 8.45 a.m. And then I just resize that. And then um, I feel like I have too much yellow now. And I just kind of eyeball that. So I'm going to change um, the Cody Star text that I have that kind of looks like lights to white. To add more white into it. And of course, you can change whichever um, colors you want, and you can increase and do whatever. So I'm just resizing to get to what I like. So they're going to have a meeting Tuesday, April 7th, in the cafeteria at 8.45 a.m. I'm ready to take a screenshot of this, and um, you can, you know, pick whatever whatever you want. So I don't want um, too much of that gray on the outside since I kind of kept it um, in the center. And so I'm done with that. So, um, it, you know, it takes just a couple of minutes to go in and edit um, once you have some of your templates done. 
and part of branding is that you want the same style image and so not only do I try to brand buckcorn but I try to brand you know each sport and each activity um, with their own logo and that way when people see the picture they they know that it's that particular sport or you know they you know if they have a child that's on that then that's what they look for um, especially in the blue and gold when I've got a lot of images going on so um, again, save my draft and that, I, that's how I, I get information to the different platforms. I don't use the page moto post. I just use it to, um, create the posters. So that is page moto in a nutshell. So good luck. And if you have any questions or need any help, um, feel free to contact me.